Ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay word problems using quadratic equations. So, kung paano magsagot ng mga word problems um, na gumagamit ng mga quadratic equations. Sa lesson na ito, uh, in-expect na natin na dapat marunong na tayong magsagot ng mga quadratic equations. At alam na natin yung mga iba't ibang paraan o no? methods, kagaya ng uh, factoring, pwedeng completing the square, o kaya naman ay... Uh, extracting the square root at yung uh, pinakahuli ay yung quadratic formula. Okay? Magtitry tayo ngayon ng uh, isang example ng word problem na common at tingnan natin kung paano ito sinasagutan. Sabi dito, if the square of a number is added to twice the number, the sum is 224, find the number. Okay? So, kailangan natin ma-model ito. No, or gumamit tayo ng mga variables which is normally ginagamit natin ay x para sa unknown number and then tingnan natin kung matatranslate uh, natin ito into algebraic equation sa isahin natin yung uh, part nung, nung mga statement okay so x will be the unknown number then meron tayong isa pang number dito no? square of a number is added to twice the number so um, kung ang x ang unknown number ito pwede na natin i-translate ito no yung square down ng number na ito square ng unknown number na to inadd siya sa twice ng number na to so algebraically we can write that down as if the square of a number is added to twice the number kukunin natin yung uh, square ng x no or raise natin siya sa power of 2 okay yan yung square ng number is added to twice the number which benefit pl plus natin yan sa twice, twice nung number, so 2 times the number. And then, yung term na the sum is 224, talagyan natin ng uh, equals, no? Kasi in natin yung x squared tsaka 2x, so magiging equal sa 224. So, there, meron tayong quadratic equation and we are going to solve for x. Okay? So, pwede natin isulat muna ito into standard form. Standard form lang nito ay x squared plus 2x minus 224 equals 0. Gumamit ako ng additive inverse dito. Nag minus 24 ako both sides. Okay. And then we can use factoring. Okay. O kaya naman kung nahihirapan pwede gumamit ng quadratic formula. But in this case ang factors ng negative 224 are pwede positive 16 at saka negative 14. So meron tayong factors na x plus 16 saka x minus 14. Ayan. Pag uh, gumamit tayo ng FOIL method at double check natin ito, ito yung lalabas na equation, yung nasa taas. Okay? So, since naka-factor na siya, gagamit na lang ako ng uh, zero product property. So, that will be x plus 16 equals 0. Tapos, ito namang isa, yung x minus 14 equals 0. Okay? So, to solve for x dito, magma-minus 16 ako both sides. So, minus 16 dito, minus 16. So, I will just have x is equal to 0 minus 16 is equal to negative 16. Kaya kung titignan yung pattern, positive siya dyan. Pag nalipat na dito sa kanan, magiging negative. So, based on that pattern, we have x is equal to dito negative 14. So, pag nalipat, magiging positive 14. So, we have the solutions or numbers na negative 16 at saka 14. Kung gusto natin i-double check yan, pwede naman yung checking natin. Unahin natin yung x equals to 16, halimbawa, negative 16. So, negative 16 squared plus 2 times negative 16. Tingnan natin kung equal yan sa positive 224. Negative 16 squared is just equal to 256. Okay, plus 2 times negative 16 is negative uh, 32. 256 plus negative 32 is the same as 256 minus 32. And that is equal to 224. So, tama yung uh, negative 16 as a solution. Try naman natin yung positive 14 kung totoo din no, or tama yung sagot na yun. 14 squared plus 2 times 14. Okay. 14 squared is um, 196 plus 2 times 14 is 28. 196 plus 28 is equal to as well 224 din yan. Ano? Alright. So the solutions are negative 16 and positive 14. Okay. Try natin yung iba pang examples. Okay, so ito yung ating example, another example. Uh, we have John requires 7 hours more to paint a wall than it takes Peter. The two worked together for 4 hours when Peter was called away. John completed the painting job in 2 hours. 
how long would it take each to do the same job working alone? Yung mga word problems na ganito, yung mga tinatawag nilang work problems, common ito sa mga quadratic equations and normally lumalabas din ito sa mga uh, entrance exams, no? sa mga college entrance exams, ganyan, o kaya minsan sa mga civil service exams. So, maganda, since may pattern din naman ito, maganda na alam natin kung paano ito sagutan. Okay? Again, hanap muna tayo ng mga, magsiset tayo ng mga variable, ng variable para sa unknown number na ito. Okay, so isahin natin. Sinasabi dito na, it will take John 7 hours more to paint a wall than it takes Peter. So, ibig sabihin, mas matagal magtrabaho si John kaysa kay Peter ng 7 hours. Tapos, silang dalawa nagtrabaho sila ng uh, apat na oras, tapos si Peter ay uh, tinawag or umalis. Tapos tinuloy ni John yung trabaho na tapos niya after 2 hours. Tanong dito, ilang oras matatapos nung bawat isa yung trabaho, yung same job. No? Kung mag-isa lang sila magtrabaho. Okay? So, kailangan natin na ganyan ng variable. So, gagamit tayo ng x na naman. Kaya pwede rin ng y, pero normally kasi x ang ginagamit para sa number of hours para kay Peter. Okay? Let x be the number of hours it takes Peter to do the job. Since yung kay Peter ay x, Tapos yung kay John naman, ay, uh, it, it, he takes 7 more hours. Kaya x plus 7 yung kay John. Okay, Napaka-importante na alam natin itong mga to kasi ito yung gagamitin natin sa pagsasolve ng problem na ito. Tapos, tingnan naman natin ngayon yung uh, part ng job na ginawa ni Peter. Okay, sa loob ng isang oras. So, may ratio ito. Bisusulat ito basically as, as 1 over x. So, basically ito yung ginawang trabaho ni Peter sa loob ng isang oras. Paano naman niya express yung ginawang trabaho ni John sa loob ng isang oras? That will be 1 over x plus 7. Okay? So basically ito yung rate nila or bilis ng trabaho sa loob ng isang oras. Okay? Dahil umalis si Peter after 4 hours, kailangan natin i-express ito basically no? in terms of hours. So yung 1 over x, uh, Sa loob ng apat na oras, multiply lang natin yan by 4, so magiging 4 over x yan. Ito naman kay John, umalis si Peter ng after 4, uh, ng 4 hours, tapos nakumpleto ni John yung trabaho ng 2 hours. So, ibig sabihin, 6 na oras nagtrabaho si Peter, ah, si, sorry, si John. So, we have 6 over x plus 7 naman dito. Okay? So, basically, ito na yung kompletong job nila. Pag pinag-add ko na lang yan, equal, sa, equal na lang natin yan sa 1, no? Uh, it, ibig sabihin yung kompletong trabaho. So, that would be 4 over x plus 6 over x plus 7. Sana nasusundan yung pagkakagawa nito, no? Lagi naman ganito yung mga problems. Okay? And then, ito, papansin natin, para siyang fractional equation, ano? So, at hindi mukhang quadratic kasi hindi naman nakaray sa power of 2. However, kung isisimplify natin yan, no, itong x plus 7, i-multiply ko sa 4, ito namang x, i-multiply ko sa 6. Tapos, kahanap tayo ng least common denominator. Basically, i-multiply ko itong x, dito sa x plus 7. Okay, so that will be 4 times x plus 7. Kopyahin ko yung plus, and then x times 6, so we have 6x dito. And then, yung denominators lang, multiply ko lang sila, that will be x times x plus 7. Okay, equals 1. Okay? And then, simplify natin to 4 times x plus 7, that will be 4x plus 28 plus 6x. Okay? E uh, over x squared plus 7x. I mean, multiply ko yung x na to x times x, x squared, x times 7, 7x equals 1. Okay? Let me just clean the board natin. And then, so, we have this 4x plus 20, 28 plus 6x at taas. So, simplify ko na lang yung 4x tsaka 6x pagsasamahin ko. That will be 10x. So, we have 10x plus 28 dito. And then, itong x squared plus 7x, multiply ko na lang yan dito sa 1. No? mawawala na siya dyan or basically pag multiply ko yung both sides ng x squared plus 7x mawawala ito napupunta na siya dito sa right hand side of the equation so we have yan equals x squared plus 7x hindi magbabago yung mga operations no? hindi siya magiging minus dito kasi nga we multiplied both sides by x squared plus 7x then simplify natin at gawin natin yung standard form ng equation na ito Ito, dito lang maglilipat tayo or basically mag-subtract tayo ng 10x tapos mag-subtract tayo ng 28 dito para may lipat sila sa kanan. So, magiging equal sa 0 yung kaliwa. Equals, kapihin ko muna, x squared plus 7x. Okay, yung te positive 10x magiging negative 10x. Yung positive 28 magiging negative 28 naman siya. Okay? 
since equal lang naman yan sa zero, pwede kong isulat yung zero naman dito sa kanan ng equation. So, we will just have x squared. Tapos, simplify ko na rin itong mga to. 7x minus 10x is negative uh, 3x. Yan. Minus 28. So, equals sa zero. Okay? Then, we can use factoring. Okay? The factors of negative 28 na kapag pinag-add mo ay uh, negative 3. Ano yung mga posible yung sagot dyan? We have 7, 7 and 4. No? Positive 7 times positive 4 is 20. Pero negative yan. So, ibig sabihin niya sa kanina ay negative. So, we have uh, the factors x na minus 7. Siya kayo sa naman ay x plus 4. Yan. Equals 0. Okay? And then, we can use the zero product property. x minus 7 equals 0. Then, the other one is x plus 4 equals 0. Tapos so, gagamit tayo ng additive inverse, negative 7 to. So, magpa plus 7 ako both sides. So, we have x is equal to positive 7 dito. Dito naman, negative, um, positive 4 to. So, magpa minus 4 ako both sides. You will have x equals 0 minus 4 is negative 4. We have uh, two answers here but it doesn't mean na pareho silang solution. Ito ay di-discard na natin to kasi we are talking about hours. So, negative yan. So, discarded na to. Hindi ito magiging solution. That means to say, It will take 7 hours for Peter to do the job alone. So, kapag mag-isa si Peter, 7 hours niya matatapos yung trabaho. So, since yung kay John naman, he will take x plus 7, mag-aada ko ng 7 dito. No? So, x uh, plus 7, that means to say we have, papalitan ko ng 7 yung x na yan. 7 plus 7 equals 14. Ito naman yung kay John. Okay? Ayan. Sana may natutunan tayo sa pagsagot ng mga, kwadra, ng mga word problems na gumagamit ng mga quadratic equations. Again, pwedeng gumamit ng quadratic formula kung sakaling nahihirapan sa factoring. As long as um, nakakuha ka na ng quadratic equation na kagaya nito, you may use uh, the quadratic formula to, to solve for x. Okay? Maraming salamat. Huwag, huwag uh, kakalimutang mag-subscribe at uh, check na rin yung ating, ang notification bell para masundan nyo yung mga iba pang videos na i-upload ko. Yeah, that's it.